What's up YouTube? This is Scott with Freakin' Fishing. I got a new tire on my boat trailer. Reason I got a new tire on my boat trailer is I had a blowout. Knocked my tail light out, busted it into pieces, so I'm gonna have to replace that. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so right here is the bracket that the light goes on. You can see it mounts with two bolts right here that I'm gonna have to get out of there. But first, you can see how bent this bracket is. So I'm gonna take a hammer and uh, straighten this out a little before I mount that new light to it. Here's what you're dealing with. You're just gonna take these nuts off. Each of them have two nuts. This one's just meant to keep the other one from backing off. And then you'll have this uh, wire that's just a ground wire. Uh, your new light should have one on it. Check that to make sure so this one can come off. And then here's your here's your connections for the light. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these connections off. Right on the trailer side. And then I'll cut these off so I can go ahead and take this light out of here. And that's, like I said, that's the ground wire. My light does have the ground wire on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Uh, that top nut is a 7 16 And you should be able to just loosen it up. Okay, now the inside nut is a 10 millimeter on this. Yours may be different and probably is because nobody puts these things on the same. The new light that I bought has these grooves right here for the wires where they can lay right there. And then if you put this flush up against your trailer, they won't get pinched. So use those if you need them. This particular trailer is a Triton and it has this groove right here cut across for the wires and the bolts to go through. So we're gonna put this up here you just slide your bolts in to these grooves, little channels. Just pick whichever ones fit. The outside one on my trailer is not gonna fit, so I gotta use the two inside ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run these wires through, followed by the bolts. And then I'm gonna get this, I've got some straps right here that I don't wanna pinch. I'm gonna get this lined up where I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my nuts on here before I connect any of the wires. I'm gonna go ahead and anchor this down. Now when you put your wires back on, or your nuts back on, make sure you got your ground wire grounded there. I just put it behind this first nut now when you connect these wires back, you've got a green and you've got a brown. They're color coded, so that's gonna be easy. You have a few different options on how you connect them. You can use these blue connectors, which you run one wire through one slot, one wire through the other slot, and then pinch that down and close it. What I don't like about that is when you back your trailer in the water, water can still get in here and uh, eventually it will corrode, it'll rust, and that'll be done. You'll have to replace it, your lights quit working. Or you can buy these, which are waterproof, and the way they work is you put your wire in there, crimp this down, and once you've got both wires connected, you put a little heat here with a lighter, and it shrinks down over the wire. So it's pretty waterproof and weatherproof. That's the way I like to do these things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this brown wire and I'm going to just strip a little bit of the rubber off that wire. Now I'm gonna twist it up. This one already came stripped a little so I'll just twist it and I'm gonna trim a little off because I don't need that long a wire. Okay, so you just Stick your wire in there and make sure it goes past that little sleeve. And then you take a pair of crimpers. 
and you just squeeze that wire down. Now I'll take the other end, slide it in there, make sure it goes all the way in. I'm gonna crimp that wire down tight. And now I've just got this lighter here. And I'll just give it a little heat. You see how it just melts around that fire is trying to get me, isn't it? Wind blowing a little bit in here. You don't want to melt it too much, but you want to get it to where it does seal on that wire. I like to leave this wire long. You see this hanging, and I will zip tie it up or tape it up. I like to have a little extra wire just in case something like this happens again and I need to replace these again. If I keep cutting this off and cutting it off, it's gonna get too short eventually. So I just leave this extra wire in here for that reason. Now I'm gonna do these two wires the same way I did this one. Normally I've got zip ties running out my ears, but I can't find any right now. And so I'm gonna just take these wires and I'm gonna kind of wrap them up here and tape them up. And that there ought to hold it up out of the way. So there it is, a simple job. New tail light, kind of scored up my trailer by having that blowout. I should have checked my tires a little better, but that's what I get. Anyway, that's how you do it, and until next time, go fish.